Hello, hello everyone, Fatty from Pack a Punch Traders here. I'm gonna make a quick video going over a trading system and kind of how to create one. I've gone over this trading system of hours before. Uh, something we try to stick to, something that's worked and kept us safe and helped us make some money. Um, but how to really form it when you're still new, don't know really what to look for. Um, and you got a bunch of things getting thrown at you. Uh, I'll simplify it. You know, in my past six years of trading, I would have to sum it up as a balance between what works and what is comfortable for you to trade. Um, for example, what works is you know taking quick quick snipes. I'm tell I'm selling at ten percent usually and letting the rest ride to see if there's going to be any more action and. I'm really comfortable with taking quick gains. Not I'm impatient. I'm w trying to work with that, uh, with my strategy as well. I'm not trying to fight some of uh, my personality. You could kind of work with it. Um, so I'm, I know I'm impatient. I like these quick moves. I don't want to stick around. When I'm up, I'm up. I don't want to stick around judging consolidation levels, see if it keeps holding its gains and head, heads higher. I'm just going to lock in my quick 10 to 15% and move on and part of that is because like I just said it's not only I'm impatient I want my quick gains and another part is that's what also works when we see moves these waves that happen um, you're not getting just like a 5% move you're not really um, you're for sure getting your 10-15% and I say for sure extremely lightly and I actually kind of take it back at times you will have fake outs um, but typically when you get these solid moves you're getting 10 15 sometimes even 20 percent and I'm not trying to nail the whole thing so I know that as well so what works is taking the meat of the move a quick 10 15 percent and moving on so that's a balance between my comfort level and what works in the market as well uh, another example would be trading no more than half your account size um, as of now, you know, I've talked about before how the end of last year I was sizing up, it was working out, and then it stopped working, and I was still sticking to bigger size. And a way to protect myself now is not trading more than half of my whole account size. I want to keep most of my money safe in case anything happens, and that's gonna come from experience. Some of the some of these lessons and whatnot that you're gonna find that form your trading system are going to come with experience you're going to have to make some mistakes but some simple ones is cutting your losses quickly i know that's got to be in here somewhere one second um <clears throat> one second no way it's not on here no way i guess respect stop price i guess that's kind of how i worded it um set a max stop for the day and trade day um yeah that's a way to put it or you know cut your losses quickly have a max loss of five percent or whatnot so i make sure i am protected here and that's from my experience of last year and also my throughout my whole journey i have only recently started getting consistent and the reason after six years i'm still around after not having any success really is because i've cut my losses so quick and keeping my losses small has kept me in the game has given me capital to still work with, and that's why I'm still around. Um, another example, we'll just kind of go through this one by one. I won't do all of them, but I'm just trying to give you an idea of what I'm looking for, how I'm forming this. You don't have to stick to what we got here, but I'm just, you know, through experience. I don't really like trading half days. I found um, those days are kind of volatile. They do offer some action, but a good way to enjoy those half days either usually holidays just relax don't trade that day take the day off no uh usually big traders on half days and holidays and whatnot they're not really looking at the market so just take a break why not if big money is not going to be there just take a break um no play is the best play this is coming from experience of over trading and forcing plays so really, you know, I, I keep going, I'm going in a circle here, but it really is a balance between, like I said, 
what is working in the market and what you're comfortable trading um so that's really all i could sum it up to hope this was useful uh as i could better articulate my thoughts here on this topic i'll make more video lessons but for now i'll leave you with that and i think it's a solid base to go off of um hope this was useful give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel check us out on twitter at pack a punch traders if you're looking for um low cost live streams check us out on tradecaster.com besides that i hope everyone has a great day bye bye